Tommy, is anybody... Is anybody there? I'm coming, Ma. You be patient. Oh, uh, OK. Um, I, ne I never seen one of them uh, for phonographs before. It's a good machine. Works like magic. <laughs> yeah, like magic. <laughs> All right, man, what do you want? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> I, w I wanted to see uh, Queen Malvina. Well, you see her. Yeah. What else you want? Uh, ah, you got a sweetheart, maybe. Oh, yeah, I do. Well, that's good. This week got special good bargain. Uh, Only one dollar for my zum zum coochie coochie oil. Make your girl holler, stop, stop, stop. Oh, <laughs> uh, no thanks, ma'am. Say, what's this? A sailor's toe. Sailor's toe? Don't handle the merchandise. Oh. All right, man, you tell me uh, what you need. Um, you... Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, you see, uh, I need, uh... Something uh, that'll protect me from croque matane. Ah, the boogeyman. Uh-huh. You smart to be afraid of him. I know. Well, I got plenty good charms, all with money back guarantees. Yeah, well, you see now, ma'am, that's a bit of a problem. Bag. Inside I... got graveyards, dust, snake kids, root, dried dust blood, and the little finger bone from the left hand of a dead man. Ooh, just fancy that. Only $8.85 cent. Yeah, well, now you see that, now that's a might. Too expensive, I'm Well, afraid. how about this? Mojo Lucky Curio Box. Inside Mojo. got seven Holy Spirit salts, wishing beans, and compelling incense. Compelling? Special price, too. One dollar, ten cents. Uh, no, ma'am, I don't think but so. But these are plenty good charms. I'm sure they, they are. They keep Crook tank far away from you, sure. Oh, oh uh, you don't understand. You, uh, you see, I don't want to keep away from Crook tank. You don't? No, I, I got I to go and fight. The bogeyman this afternoon? You're gonna fight Crook Matei? Yes. You crazy yes. man. to save this friend of mine. You crazy man, too. Don't you do I it. I have to, Miss Malvina. Listen, I do. He's sure to die. So seems how you know all about the bogeyman, I thought maybe you could give me some good advice. Well, if and you must go and fight Croak Matain, you don't need no advice from me. You don't need no charm, neither. All you need is a prayer. And that I give you free. Much obliged. One thing more. Mm -hmm. Now, man. And don't you look back. There's one you Yes. I say a prayer for you. But it be a prayer for the dead. There'll be no charm can help him now. For no man alive can overcome the bogey. Don't you know that it's me? It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing. 
That's a four letter word, ain't it, Solon? Oh, I'm in shut up and say. Another step. I know. I've got to rest. That's right. Okay, so let's sit it down right, oh. right over here. Oh, yes. Dancing all night and walking all day. It wouldn't she know our car would break down. I vow I was thinking a martyr. I never did trust these newfangled oh. devices. Oh, here, Mama. Try some smelling salt. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you might feel better if you took off your shoes. Never. I'll be a lady until the day I die, which may very well be today. Oh, dang it, Willie Mae. We can't sit here forever. Besides, you feel better over to the Marquis's place. Uh, but I tell you, Monsieur, that there is no Marquis. Uh, yeah, these are just uh, two worthless adventurers. They are empty. They're an idiot. Écrasez les enfants. Now, look here, young man. Don't you swear at me. There is no mar. Look, uh, just uh, ask the people here that to work in this field. For 30 fields back, we've already asked everybody, and always we get the exact same response. This field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. It's tireful. See the plan is here. Well, all right, I'll ask. Uh, say there, friends, uh, tell me, who owns this field? The Marquis of Carabas. This Marquis must own half the state. Who does he think he is? That is no Marquis. Sunday school picnic. Oh, boys, you get the dang best notions. I wish there was any place but here right now. <laughs> Yours alone. A 
another rebel here to defy me? Oh, not at all, oh dreadful one. Who are you then? An admirer, come to marvel and applaud. Tell me the truth when I was born, intruder. My lunch is in the cage, but I could use an appetizer. Oh, no. Please don't eat me, croak me tan. Oh, first and foremost, a catastrophe. <laughs> how, how could I injure your dreadfulness? For after all, I'm only a cat. Only a cat in fancy red boots. True enough, you're a harmless runt, but why are you here? Oh. State your purpose. For years I've been told of the wonders you perform. The stories I've heard are incredible. But true. I don't believe them. What? Not without proof. Name the proof you require. Anything you ask, I will do. Well, I've been told you can transform yourself into any creature. Huh. An easy trick. But there's one I'd like to see. Can you transform yourself into, oh, let's say, a Louisiana alligator? An alligator? <laughs> an alligator? Can I become an alligator? <laughs> Satisfied. Magnificent. Superb. A fantastic achievement. I am impressive. <laughs> but I still have my doubts. What? It may be easy to turn yourself into something huge, but can you also turn yourself into something small, like uh, Louisiana cockroach? Uh, I can be something even smaller. A tiny, squeaky mouse. What? Oh, Merlis! Merlis, you all right? Oh, oh puss. You've got here just in time. Another minute and I'd have gone down his gullet. Ooh, good thing that didn't happen. Yeah, no thanks to me. He sure whooped me good. That's only because you didn't know what to do. I'll let you in on a little secret. There's only one trick in dealing with any boogeyman, and that's to let him show you how small he really is. Oh, I feel like a total failure, Butts. Well, we all got the right to fail sometimes, Merlis. That's part of living, too. But the point is, you came out here and you tried. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Merlis. You got lots of gumption. Your daddy would sure be proud of you now. I don't see why. Fine, noble man I turned out to be. And that's exactly what you are. For only the truly noble would risk so much for a friend. <laughs> and now, it's time to claim your inheritance. Voila, Monsieur Le Marquis. Oh, my clothes. The house. Plus, it's all changed. Well, I'm not surprised. You've come into your own. And I do believe your guests are arriving. And this time, you can do all the talking. Where is he? I look like a drowned rat. I can't see the Marquis looking this well, way. Well, you look perfectly fine to me. Yeah, well, just you stay in the background. Uh, 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 Mr. Marquis, hello. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Uh, our car broke down. And, uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, quite a rainstorm you had <laughs> out there in the yard. Yes, sir, I know. Glad you could come. Oh, yeah. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Puss done it again. <laughs> oh, my, but this is some habitation. Oh, 
have never seen anything quite so French. Oh, wait. Just look at those portraits. Uh, say, Monsieur, uh, all these ancestors yours? Yes, well, I suppose they are. You see, they came with the house. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Cazu, what is your reaction? Well, I... I, I kind of thought you'd say that. <laughs> I guess I'm satisfied. As far as I am concerned, Magnolia can be Mrs. Marquis any old time you like. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Thanks. <laughs> oh, well, you too, son. Oh, I am just so happy for the both of you. And the biggest thrill is knowing she's to be married to a genuine cultured French man. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, mercy, buck up. Willie May, I think we ought to further investigate the premises. Yes, I believe I'd like to lie down for a spell. Yeah. My nerves are in shreds, yep. positively in shreds. Your paddles? Well, I thought that's what you say. Well, Magnolia, you can take your shoes off now. Well, I don't believe this. Oh, at last, this silent Akazo, he specks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, well, I do not know how you have managed this uh, swindle, but you have still yet to render me satisfaction. Anytime you want, Cazzo, in Lake Pontchartrain, and I'll bring the sledgehammers. <laughs> oh, run along, Bo. Can't you tell when to quit? Oh, oh yeah, oui. Mademoiselle? Yes. You may have your marquee. Adieu, monsieur. For the last time, I hope. <laughs> oh, yes. And this for you, Pet Noir. May you chuck on a catfish. <laughs> well, I uh, guess that settles things. Guess it's time I was moving on. Moving on? Now? Burless, you still need a little advice. You don't take a cat on your honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> but we were hoping you'd come live with us. Oh, yeah, to be cream and catnip Ooh. the rest of your days. It sounds fine for some other cat, but this one's got to keep on going. A lot of the world still needs my attention. For you may be the Marquis of Carabao, but after all, Merlin, I'm the king. <laughs> Okay, boss, it's time to go. Come on, folks, let's join the show. I'm the sassiest, veraciest, classiest cat you could ever hope to meet. I'm the sassiest, jazziest, pizzazziest cat this side of Bourbon Street. You gotta get up and grow, you gotta move with your feet, you gotta let yourself go so you'll land on your feet. Join our tambourine. 